I'm into AFL, so always like uh, try to go afl.com.au to find like updates like from Collingwood Football Club, which I go for. So I go on conversation.com. So on that, there's a lot of debates, a lot of people's articles. I like reading those more than actual news itself. I consume like um, business related and technology related news and sometimes financial as well, such as like forex users and currency, just to see like how the econ economy is going. So on the phone, I've got the news app and I can subscribe to certain news um, platforms. So I go for Herald Sun and The Age. Um, usually I read like the technology news or a bit of the sport as well, and not much politics. I get it from the latest Microsoft browser, Microsoft Edge, because like as soon as you open it, it just comes up in news. And then like whichever one attracts me, I just click on it and then I go on the link. Because the the browser itself sources it from like Herald Sun and MSN and some other stuff. I also watch ABC News like on my TV. That's the only news I watch because I don't know, it's my only news I watch. Sometimes I just go on some websites on Google, like The Verge. Or I use, I just watch it on TV on Channel 7. I like reading a bit of commerce section, a little bit of business, but I'm not very intrigued about politics or anything else. I, I read the Herathon, like the actual um, newspaper, not the digital one. But normally I just get a notification on my phone, which just tells me, oh, there's something going on. Mm -hmm. And again, it even asks you the preferences, like what type of news do you like listening to? Uh, what type of news do you like reading about, uh, the length of news, all of that. So uh, I like reading things that are quite concise and to the point.